spoke very little. You know, in fact, that whole famous book, the man who made him famous was uh, this this book called Search in Secret India. Paul Brunton, his name is. So when he came to the first time, Ramana Maharishi came to him, तो वो बोला कि ही गॉट रियली इरिटेटेड ही सेट ये कैसे स्वामी है कोई बोलते ही नहीं है पीपल जस्ट यूज टू गो एंड सेट विथ हेम आवर्स नॉट टॉकिंग एंड दे दे क्वेश्चन यू टू गेट रिजॉल्व एंड दे टू गो इन डीप मेडिटेशन ही आर नॉट एक्सपीरियंस दैट यट यू नो एंड सम इट्स नॉट लाइक ही नेवर स्पोक ही स्पोक वेरी लिटिल बट वेरी पावरफुल थिंग्स मैन एवर ही स्पोक वेर मिनिमम यू नो सो ही सिंग दैट दैट्स द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ दिस ब्रह्म निर्वाण पर्सन you know unnecessarily they don't talk the mind is not over analyzing doing anything and and then the other word they have used over here is yatatmana those who are self controlled what does that mean the mind and senses are and and intellect is all the same thing what we are discussing this that is a word it is pointing to and such a person because he he understand that the same atma is is brahman and is everywhere he gets completely in the tune with the cosmos hum log ko zabardasti tune karana padta hai apne aap ko yaad dilana padta hai you know that i am part of the nature and you know i cannot these are they are automatically in tune with the nature and that's why they are always इधर लिखा है सर्व भूत हिते रता रता वर्ड मीन्स रिजॉइसिंग और रेवलिंग इन समथिंग जिसमें आनंद आता हो उनको क्या चीज में आनंद आता है सबके वेलफेयर में दे हैव नो भेदभाव कि भाई दिस पर्सन को मैं ज्यादा ज्ञान दू बिकॉज ये अधिकारी है वो नहीं है जिसका जो प्रॉब्लम है वो सॉल्व करने के लिए तैयार है वो इफ यू कैन हेल्प इट यू नो एंड देन another point that that uh, you know nikhil anand ji said was that these people are in the state of ahimsa they don't want to hurt anything man vani aur sharir se kisi ko wo log takleef nahi pahunchayenge and he gave the example of how do they live in the world the world does not have to fear these mahatmas at all and they don't fear the world unko koi cheez se darr bhay nahi lagta ekdam nirbhay ho jate hain wo and kisi ko usse nuksan bhi nahi hoga and the people who think that wo log nuksan kar rahe hain they are in complete ignorance and you know since uh, sneha brought the you know the christianity some things we know that when jesus was uh, being crucified what did he say to bhagwan he said please forgive them they don't know what they are doing that's exactly what he said they are in ignorant ignorant otherwise agar thoda sa bhi gyan hoga to humko pata chal jata hai ki they we don't have to fear them about anything they are here to help everybody and they they become blessing for the whole world that is the the uh, grand state of realization and one of the beautiful example that nikhilanand ji gave about this state where you don't fear the world doesn't fear the mahatma mahatma doesn't fear the world it's saying like the fish stays in the water you know the water doesn't fear the fish the fear the fish doesn't fear the water they are in harmony swimming here there and water is totally fine with it you know we might go and disturb them you know but if you leave them alone they are very happy with each other so i thought that was a very good example so this is what this verse is pointing to all these different things anybody has any question comment or want to add anything Here, uh, my verse also says that the divine persons are actually free from all karma and sins and all that, and they have no confusions. And they are talking about different rishis, like a Dev rishi is the one who knows the God, but he is not liberated. Mm-hmm. And Brahm rishi is uh, who is always he is actually a divine spirit, but he is also practicing more and more. He is acquiring rishi-like qualities, and he is advancing towards the soul. But a true rishi is the one who is already, you know, from his past karmic thing influences. He is. gone above all those things and he is sent by god to the earth mm-hmm. so that is the true uh, rishi and he is very rare of the human beings and he comes here only for the welfare of all human beings so that is a true rishi so here in in you know the way the the approach that um, chinmayanand ji takes over here is like these are the 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 landmarks bolo yeah these are the final goal and that's what we should strive towards you know and when we are doing our practices iska thoda sa glimpse hum log ko milta jaye to then we are on the right path 
that's another way of looking at it. Why Krishna Bhagavan is mentioning all that? Hey, I should know intellectually what my goal is. And then it gives us encouragement too, right? We want to get there because there are so many, wow, this person is like happy, relaxed and nothing bothers him and he's uh, doing good to everybody. What, what better state anybody wants to be in? You know, so it gives us encouragement to move on. Any other point? Okay, we have to read. Let's see who who has a blue book. Anybody volunteer to read? If not, I have to ask. I know that Amina ji has it, and and so she. I can volunteer today. Oh, very good. So, आप अपना पर्दे से बाहर आएंगी, कमला जी. हाँ, अभी मैं आ रही हूँ. एक सेकंड. Okay. Very good. I just made my granddaughter sleep. So I have the time. <laughs> we'll see so, if she lets you. Two book. We are in chapter five. Chapter five, verse twenty-five of Swami Ji's commentary in the blue. You know, I have. To... You have fifty uh, three. My, I, I, it may not be the same page number because I have a very very old, but somewhere around fifty three. You have that okay. chapter five. I have to skip it because I don't find my chapter five. I keep taking my books here and there. I try. So to we are we are on chapter five. So maybe you can keep it separately now. Chapter five for another couple of weeks. It will be okay. Yeah, it's page sixty five. No, she she doesn't have the book handy. She said. Okay, so Meena ji, you can read it then. Next time we are going to catch you, Kamla ji. If your if your granddaughter is sleeping, so be ready. <laughs> okay. I am need. Okay, no problem. Okay, Chaliya, Mina ji. Those rishis obtain absolute freedom or moksha, whose sins have been destroyed, whose dualities are torn asunder, who are self-controlled and intent on the welfare of all beings. All the glorious epithets so far used have been borrowed from the Vedic lore, and there is not a single idea which can be pinned onto the yellow garb of Krishna as an original idea from Dwarka. Arjuna was soaked with the mere bookish knowledge of the Vedas, and therefore he had misunderstood these terms, as his whole generation did at that time. He thought that God realization is an inert, lifeless existence of impossible withdrawal from the destinies of the world around him, and self selfishly enjoyed the bliss of his soul in the sacred caves of his own heart. To wipe away this mad slur upon the immortal culture of the Hindus, which had grown out of the rank. Ignorance among his faithful followers, Krishna is exploding himself in the following stanza to express what a perfect master would do when he has once contacted the infinite, the perfect. See, this is a very, very important thing that he was Arjuna was soaked merely in bookish knowledge. Usne bhi Ved vagara sare padhe hue the, right? And right. you know that he wanted to run away to the jungles and meditate. Krishna says, "No, no, no. You, yahan par reh ke fight karte hue you can get the moksha." <laughs> he told him, "That's the such a powerful thing because his idea was ki bhai kono mein jaake wahan baith jao aur you know sansar ko chhod do and all nothing like that. Totally definition change kiya. And the other point here, very important one is that whatever Krishna Bhagwan is saying, it's not. Well, then Krishna ne kaha hai. Krishna ne kaha hai. Woh ham kehte hain, but the truth is Krishna Bhagwan is giving the sar of Vedas." Vedanta. So that's another very important. It's like a peer review journal. होते हैं ना यहाँ पे कि भाई अपना experiment करके पढ़ के कोई नहीं मानेगा. दस लोग और करें उसमें नुक्स निकाल के उसका सारा clear करके हाँ हाँ अब ठीक है. So this is all time tested through the Vedas and then. But उसका meaning गलत लोगों ने पकड़ा था. So that's what it's it's clearing me. Krishna Bhagwan through his Bhagavad Gita. When a man of meditation striving diligently. With his senses well under his control, comes to wash off all his sinful mental impressions 
which had been created in him the veiling of the self behind an unending array of doubts regarding the reality, he gains the joy of the self. When his ignorance, which is nothing other than the agitations of the mind, Vikshepa, and the consequent veiling of the truth, Avarna, has been removed, knowledge of his real self dawns in his bosom, and he re rediscovers himself as the self. So he's just telling you that process, that you can catch it many different ways. And one way he's talking about that, hey, because of the you know, doubts and, and all the negative things in our mind, sinful mental impressions, he calls it, that is creating a veil. Just say, they say that the water is high on the water and the bottom is not seen. You know, because there is so, so, big shape is when there is agitation. And avaran means dhak jata hai. So, when we go much later chapters, we're going to talk about the, you know, tamas and rajas and, and uh, sattva. So, he's saying nitya sattva bhava means because tamas is like, Pura ignorance se dhag gaya. Or rajas is agitation se dikhai nahi de raha hai. You know, that's what it means. But this is another approach, huh? Having thus rediscovered the self, having thus gained the goal of all evolution, what would be the duties of such an individual in this existence? Till, oh, sorry. I'll read it again. Having thus rediscovered the self, having thus gained the goal of all evolution, what would be the duties of such an individual in this existence till finally, with a cheerful farewell, he drops his mortal coil down to merge himself with what he knows to his own self? So he just uh, think until he drops his mortal coil, what would be his duties? Okay. That's a very, yes. very important thing. The general impression is that he will move about in the world like a mad walking stone statue that eats at least once a day, a threat to, a threat to society, a moving bundle of contagion and a screaming pillar of despondency and despair. Such a living screaming pillar of despondency, oh sorry, such a living death is not the goal indicated by the Vedas nor did the Hindu rishis ever try to carve out of a man a walking corpse. He just used very strong language because I think in those days, you know, let's say, sadhu santon ko badnam karte na, the real one ko. Kai loog ke ek dimag mein hota ki sabhi aisi hai. You know, bas bhiksha lete rata hai, ye kuch karte hai, God knows kya kya ideas hai. Ye nahi ki bhi, there are dhongis and they are real ones. You know, don't put everybody in the same category. But he's just telling that that's not because some people think like that, that they are these kind of people. Which karte rate hai nahi aisi. Then what it is now? Hmm. Next. Self-realization self is not a melancholy parade crawling to a predestined tomb, but it is a joyous ride to the palace of truth from which man has wandered away in his own ignorance and confusion. A true prophet is one who lives consumed in an ever reviving fire of love. He ceaselessly strives to bring out the self from the non-self that is veiling it in all other forms around and about him. This is indicated by the term engaged in the good of all beings. See, he ceaselessly strives to bring out the self from the non-self that is veiling it. That's what his intention is. He's trying to help everybody to come out of their ignorance. So they may use different technique, different things for different people. You know, and then the, the famous thing is about, you know, Satya Sai Baba he used to do, you know, a lot of miracles, right? Some people used to just get stuck in miracle and all that. And other people actually, you know, learned a lot of things. But somebody asked him that, hey, why, why do you do that? So he's saying, I give people what they want in the beginning so that they come to me and I give. Then I will give them what I really want to give them. See the trick? So, and there are hundreds of stories like that. That because of that miracle, they, they got attracted to learn from him and then they became spiritual. 
So I'm just giving that an example because some people have a lot of criticism, you know, or they were criticized Osho, you know, hey, why why was he going in a, in a, all these fancy cars and all that? Because his the people that he was trying to change were like that. Or you take Prabhupada ji. When he came, we saw the movie together in this group. All those people who went to him, they were like runaway teenagers. Koi drug mein tha, koi ye tha, wo tha. But basically, unhone sabhi ko change karke aur ek dam uchai te pohuncha diya. You know, because so unka kaam, they, they don't discriminate to anybody. We might look at the world like that. Oh, ye kharaab hai, ye bada. They don't look at it. as koi bhi ho, I want to help that person. That's what it is, what they're talking about over here. Mm. The Lok Seva becomes his recreation, his self-appointed engagement. His body, mind, and intellect are offered as oblations into the sacred fires of activity. And while remaining at rest within himself, the saint lives on in an unbroken consciousness of the divine, the eternal. Yeah, and you know, when I saw that, uh, not Shurume, एक सीरीज है कहीं इंटरनेट पे थी रामदेव बाबा के बारे में भी दैट यू नो व्हेन ही यू नो गॉट इनटू हायर स्पिरिचुअल थिंग ही उनमें इतना स्ट्रांग वो आया कि मेरे को लोक सेवा जाके करनी है एंड देन ही पार्टनर्ड विद दैट बाला कृष्णा एंड दैट हाउ टू गैदर एंड दैट 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 सीरीज शेड लाइट ऑन है कितनी डिफिकल्टी आई थी लोगों ने उनको कितना भगाया हर जगह से वो डटे रहे फ्री में दवाइयां दे दे के दे दे के फाइनली दे पीपल यूज टू थ्रो दैट दवाई ऑन द स्ट्रीट तभी उन्होंने पैसे चार्ज करने शुरू किए कि भाई नहीं तो ये लोग फेंक ही देंगे यू नो वो इतना मेहनत करके बनाते थे रात रात जाग के और लोग कई लोग फेंक देते थे द होल स्टोरी आई एम जस्ट सेइंग देयर इंटेंशन वाज एग्जैक्टली दिस यू नो हाउ टू डू द लोक सेवा बट अदर पीपल लुक एट इट अरे ये तो बिजनेस कर रहा है तो वो कर रहा है ये नहीं देखते कि कितने लोगों का कल्याण कर दिया जिनको योगा का यह भी नहीं आता था वो उनको सिखा दिया उन्होंने योगा गांव गांव में जाके सो दैट्स व्हाट इज शेडिंग द लाइट ऑन जो जिसका टैलेंट होएगा ना मतलब फिजिकल वर्ल्ड में जो ये ऐसे लोगों का वो वो यूज करके दे डू द सर्व लोक हित रता है दे आर ऑलवेज रेवलिंग इन दैट सो एनी एनी क्वेश्चन कॉमेंट We became you can also get a uh, you know peace when you know our purpose in life. So yeah, just say yeah. Your can I make just yoga? Sir, that's not Ramdev Ji. He also didn't know what his purpose in life was. So he also went to the Himalayas, mm -hmm. and there he then he met a guru, and as he was telling him to do something, and then he realized that this is not my path. My path is to learn yoga. So after that, he just went. He was in that path, and he never changed his path. Right, and even and uh, that one has done all of it. सभी वो अलग अलग ढंग से करते हैं पर उनका पर्पस वही है जितने लोगों का हो सकता है उतना लोगों का भड़कना लाइक यू नो सदगुरु आई मीन ही वर्क सो मच फ्रॉम मॉर्निंग टू इवनिंग यू नो दैट्स व्हाट ही इज डूइंग ही इज ट्राइंग टू डू द भला यू नो ऑफ एवरीबॉडी एंड इवन चिन्मयानंद जी uh, उनके गुरु तो हिमालय से कभी नीचे आते ही नहीं थे बट चिन्मयानंद जी द होल स्टोरी इज दैट आफ्टर ही यू नो गॉट दैट एनलाइटनमेंट He was sitting near the Ganga, and the Ganga was flowing, and he unko ekdam se, jaise bolte na ki download hua higher se. Kya jaise Ganga jaake sabka kalyan kar rahi hai, maine ye seekh to liya sab kuch. And he was a very good orator, and as we can see his language and all that, and he knew how to appeal to all these Nastics, you know, who had never even thought about God or anything higher. Unko jaake unhone sab change kar diya. बिकॉज ही गट द इंस्पिरेशन कि मेरे को ये वेदांत आ गया मैं घर घर में पहुंचाना चाहता हूँ उसको यू नो सो दैट्स वॉट द होल दैट वॉज हिज कॉलिंग इन लाइफ यू नो आफ्टर ही गट इन लाइट एंड देर आर सो मेनी पीपल हु हैव दीज वट वट वी आर लर्निंग इन दिस वर्स इज वी हैव सीन इट नाउ इन आवर जनरेशन वी हैव सीन इट थिंग्स है any last thing anybody has anything to say okay then i'll close uh, bhagavad gita we can always have in the discussion time also sarva dharman parityajya mame kam sharanam vraja aham tava sarva papebhya moksha ishami ma shuchah 
हरि ओम श्री गुरु भ्यो नम हरि ओम but once you do that i mean there is, it's not a straight forward path that it, it each step you have to think about it before you go to the next step to me it was okay from the objects to the mind yes my mind is seeing it that becomes mm. the seer then to merge into the intellect okay that's not easy okay. for me i didn't find it easy i'll tell you how it it can become easy i'm not saying it is easy but how it can help from the see we cannot forget all the previous verses that we did right krishna bhagwan ne is clearly bola anger is nothing but but the uski jo janani hai na anger ki wo tumhari desire hai hum log right. hum log sochte hi nahi hai aisa hum log to ye sochte hain oh gussa aa gaya because i couldn't help it the other person made me angry and all no your own desire caused it so once we know it that's when you are staying in wisdom right so all the things that he mentioned earlier we have to remember that that's how you stay in wisdom and then the other way you can and, and the other thing he has given you tips is that whatever you do just offer it to god then tum galat kaam karoge nahi agar offer karna hoga god ko to hum kuch ganda kaam karke to nahi bolenge god le lo अगर हमको हम गॉड को याद रखेंगे तो हमेशा अच्छा ही करेंगे यू नो और गुरु को याद कर लो दो टिप्स देन यू स्टे इन दैट हायर सेल्फ एंड देन विजडम इज नथिंग बट मेरी जो गलत धारणाएं थी ना वो मैं छोड़ के नई चीजें अभी सीख रही हूँ भगवत गीता में होल्ड ऑन टू दो method is given and you know like yeah. somebody i think it was uh, it was uh, one of the swamis who said this so important thing he saying that um, sadguru i think was saying it agar tumko koi phool chahiye apne garden mein right to tumko kya karna padega agar tum khali phool pe meditate karte rahoge mujhe phool chahiye phool chahiye mil jayega tumko kya karna padega hum logo beej la ke dalo फिर खाद डालो फिर उसको सही जगह पे डालो फिर पानी दो नन ऑफ देम लुक लाइक द बी फूल नन ऑफ देम लुक लाइक फूल राइट फ्लावर बट यू जस्ट कीप डूइंग कीप डूइंग इन द फ्लावर कम्स आउट आई था दैट वाज सच अ ब्रिलियंट एग्जांपल ही गेव सो व्हेन कृष्ण भगवान से कर्म योगा करो हम लोग को लगता है किसकी क्या जरूरत है मैं मेडिटेशन में बैठ के क्यों नहीं पहुंच जाऊं नहीं होगा बिकॉज यू हैव नॉट डन ऑल दी अदर थिंग्स यू हैव नॉट मर्ज ऑल दीज थिंग्स Uh, i agree with uh, amina ji is that we need to introspect we need to uh, you know uh, churn in our mind like what, supposing you know just as a practical example i'm giving is you get angry so you analyze why you get angry because someone said something to you so what 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 did your body do your body reacted so how do i stop reacting how do i analyze and say if that person has said something let him say that's his uh, idea but why am i reacting See, if you don't react then you are more blissful the more the, the when you react then your mind also becomes disturbed when so will you not I, react i but... practice in my practical life is how to control my mind that i don't get disturbed we cannot control someone else's mind mm-hmm. and and you know i just i i just don't even analyze it i don't go to that step that analyze why this is happening this is happening just one thing either due to expectations that you are expecting something from the other person shed your expectations or it's because of attachment shed your attachment that's going in the right? base of Once it once you do right. that then you become you just if somebody says something let them say this is their journey they said something because you can't control their thinking it's their mind why are you as Sne said why are you getting affected right but that's a step see every time for the time being till you are at that stage at every step you watch out and you said to yourself does it bo- why should it bother me that was one step going not to you know be so that step has to be taken why till you get to that that you don't have to take that step anymore it just becomes yes, automatic yes yes you know so, so well, that yeah, is a journey means- absolutely that is and each person has to ask themselves that hey where am i lacking now now yes. you have the whole gyan is in front of you 
okay so that's why yeah. why do they say in india read the bhagavad gita again and again again and again because yani ki ek bar pad liya chapter 1 and 2 to khatam ho gaya no because we'll have to read it 100 times to remind ourselves i mean this ladder of fall it's like even if you read it once a week it will help you because it will remind you for what what kamla ji is saying that you won't even sit and analyze hey my own desire is causing it but i have to get convinced about that first because krishna bhagwan's words are those that hey it's coming from your own wrong thinking it's starting at the point in your head with the wrong thinking you know so those and, th- and that is my thinking is you if you analyze more and more you get into the habit of analysis too much get out of that habit also don't analyze too much let it go <laughs> just <laughs> yeah that that is the best if we can learn to do that but in the beginning pata kya karte hain hamare haryana ke the paad ke sare nikal do just let it be out <laughs> don't don't sit on it don't analyze it too much <laughs> Okay, very good. So what I will do is I will close Bhagavad Gita here, and we still have a ta- you know twenty minutes to discuss, so we can take the dis- the discussion. Okay. So it's not Bhagavad Gita, sorry, the Katopanishad. Yeah, because now they are getting <laughs> mixed up. Katopanishad. Okay. Um. Sarve bhavantu sukhina ha. Sarve santu niramaya. Sarve bhatrani pashyantu. Ma kashche tuk bhagavi. Hari Om Shri Guru Pyo Namaha. Hari Om. Okay. So I think that yeah. Any more points on uh, whatever we studied and you know these are very okay. So I think that yeah. any more points on uh, whatever we studied and you know these are very important things and i think what this is what i have to say meena ji we have to compete with ourselves in a yeah. sense where was i before you know before that maybe i'm not even thinking that hey i i just burst out now if even if i'm analyzing that may be okay stage but then go a little further than that after a few more you know days or whatever weeks that hey go one step further of letting go and also even analyzing is a first step jaise nahi to kisi ko malum hi nahi hai ki meri galti bhi hai <laughs> right analyze to tabhi karega na hey i want to improve this situation so even that step is not bad introspection is not bad at all it has some value still analyzing but then make it fruitful analysis by knowing yes. the real facts that where it is coming from because so far you know we didn't even know that if you, if you don't study those kind of verses you don't even know that your own desire attachment and you know expectations are are causing that and so i mean there's also you know going to the next step from you know um the intellect to the mahan atma or what yeah Yeah, and to me that example of of a meeting where where some sub any saying you have to agree to disagree at that place, right? So even though I may have a great opinion, but if it is not good for the for the bigger picture, it's like Arjun's example is the best one. Okay, he had to yeah. do the worst thing by killing his two most favorite people. Was he killing them because he wanted to fight with them for animosity? No, he was killing them because they were on the wrong side. and if those two did not get killed duryodhan would have been the king and he would have created havoc in the society see that so he is he is he is merging his his uh, intellect with the total intellect is giving up selfishness right that is the part. i mean i would just take the example of the family start yeah. off with the family exactly. because we all have different opinions we all yes. and we yes. do it daily we do it daily for each other exactly you know, i may not like something even you know us women you know when we do cooking do we cook all the time what we like no right yeah <laughs> sometimes it may no be jate you know because hey i'm cooking what my son like my husband likes you know my bahu likes whatever you know right I'm exactly that, yeah. so you start from there yeah so you we are we are do- doing it already but he is yeah. he is telling you that when when the saints and sages are telling you to dissolve that because it sounds big big words if you don't analyze it it sounds just big big words 
भाई यू नो इंडिविजुअल इंटेलेक्ट को टोटल इंटेलेक्ट में मर्ज करो इसका मतलब क्या हुआ इसका मतलब यही हुआ कि सेल्फिश मत बनो जैसे जिस दिन तुम न्यू पेरेंट बन जाते हो यू यू शेड योर सेल्फिशनेस यू हैव टू यू यू जस्ट केयर फॉर द चाइल्ड यू नो आई नो यू कर रहे हो सब कुछ कर रहे हो बट यू लाइक इट और यू डोंट लाइक इट आई नो कभी कभी भूख लग रही है पर तुम पहले बच्चे को खिलाओगे एग्जैक्टली you know yeah. i mean i i see that little, little guy in our family you know and the parents you know i said you know now i realize maine kabhi jab mere bachche hote the maine didn't analyze it the kids come in our life to teach us patience yes. and higher values and not being selfish you know because nahi to oh mujhe party mein jana hai mujhe ye karna hai my son was saying mom i sleep at 8:30 these days because i know i have to get up at 2 o'clock <laughs> He was such a party boy. My God, it's now. उसने तंग किया मैंने उसे teenager. You know, उसकी सारी party party अभी सब गायब हो गई. You know, so that's what it is. That it teaches you some higher values. Amazingly enough. And now they have to think of of uh, the child. Oh, I better don't do this way, or I don't better don't behave. I better don't use this language. Abhi wo log TV, TV dekhna bhi sara band ho gaya. They are, they are doing all the baby stuff now. You know, we did the same thing, right? So so you you gave up. So true. What what uh, Sneha was saying. So what they are saying in the worldly also sense we do. and here they are telling you to literally merge it with the whole cosmos aur abhi ye jo recycling ka ye wo kitna hangama hai agar tum us dhang se chalo ki jo cosmos ke liye acha tha tum kabhi gandagi phailaoge hi nahi right you will not use harmful stuff for anything you will not throw trash here and there you will not do any of that प्लास्टिक तो You know the I didn't even realize the box जिस में खाना दिए थे ना वो लोग उसमें लिखा हुआ था कि this is totally biodegradable like in one or two weeks it just get dissolved whatever material they use now so there is some awareness that is coming but we have to do our part you know because it it's exactly that merging with the higher is that that's what it means. actually we had to think that we are hurting nature so much when we are using all those stuff and we are not recycling it too you know that's come in my mind yeah and of- and some you know somebody even pointed out that we say ki hum hum devi ki puja karte hain devi ki puja karte hain firstly find out who devi is devi is the nature devi is the nature so yeah. ek ek taraf tum puja kar ke aa rahe ho fir kooda phek rahe ho bahar devi ki puja asli hai jab tum kooda nahi pheko अगर तुम आरती वगैरह भी नहीं करो तो चलेगा मगर असली पूजा वही है कि तुम नेचर का सम्मान करो बिकॉज यू आर नेचर योर बॉडी इज नेचर योर माइंड इंटेलेक्ट ऑल दैट इज नेचर एंड आई हर्ड सम फ्रॉम सम ऑफ द इन दिस कोर्सेस दे वर सेइंग दैट इफ वी आर लाइक इफ वी मेक अप आवर माइंड गुड some something good you know that nature knows us and nature helps us to fulfill that our promise to to that thing you know of course i mean yeah this is a very known fact ki how, why how do these people one or two people achieve that much in their life how does that happen physically it looks impossible even look at shankara charya ji at the age 32 he left this world and he had done Bless. so much work i mean chinmayan ji kitni sari book likhi ramdev baba kitna kaam kiya because when to, you are inte- if you have merged your uh, individual inte- intellect with the total total will help you total has got all the resources <laughs> you know to bolte nahi ki bhagwan ke hazar haath hai wagara 
वो लोगों के हाथ हैं लाइक दैट्स हाउ आवर टीचर यूज टू से लाइक और रामदेव बाबा एक्सप्लेन लोगों के हाथ तुम्हारे हाथ बन जाते हैं हेल्प आनी शुरू हो जाती है कभी कभी कोई एक अभियान शुरू करता है कोई यू नो आई थिंक इट वॉज सदगुरु हु सेट दैट ही वुड टेलिंग द स्टोरी दैट हाउ ही वॉन्टेड टू प्लांट द ट्रीज एंड ही टोल्ड हिज ग्रुप दैट आई वॉन्ट टू प्लांट द ट्रीज इतने सारे लाख तो उन्होंने कहा ये तो इम्पॉसिबल है सदगुरु ऐसा कैसे इतने सारे लाख हम कैसे करेंगे हम तो इतने सारे कम लोग हैं तो उन्होंने कहा कि नहीं नहीं ऐसे नहीं ऐसे नहीं सोचो एंड फिर उनको ना एक तपती धूप में उन्होंने एक बिठा दिया मैदान में सभी लोग प्यास से बुरा हाल हो रहा है ये वो फिर उनको एक पेड़ की छाव में लेके गए <laughs> और बोला कि अभी क्या फर्क लग रहा है तुमको बिकॉज यू नो ठंडी ठंडी छाव से दे फेल सो गुड एंड देन ही एक्सप्लेन टू देम कि तुम्हारा जो ऑक्सीजन तुमको मिलता है ये पेड़ों से मिलता है सो so, वो सारे ग्रुप का माइंड चेंज हो गया लंग्स लंग्स पेड़ों पर हैं पेड़ों पे हैं कहते एग्जैक्टली exactly. तो बोला कि अच्छा पहले तुम इस बात को जानो अब जाके सबको समझाओ और अगर एक आदमी एक पेड़ लगा देगा ना तो हमको ये इतने सारे लाख मिल जाएंगे एंड एंड आई हर्ड कि उन्होंने जो टाइम लाइन दी थी ना मैं इतने पेड़ लगाऊंगा उससे ज्यादा लगाया उन्होंने पेड़ वहां पे मीन्स ये अचीव डेट यू नो बिकॉज द होल नेचर बिकेम कोऑपरेटिव ऑन इज एंडेवर बिकॉज इट इज इज इंटेंशन फॉर सो प्योर और एक दूसरा भी एक मैंने इंटरनेट पे देखा था एक मुंबई में ना वन ऑफ द बीच दिस वन फेलो का के मन में आया कि मैं इस बीच को साफ करूं फिर उसने कैसे शुरू किया और सब जुड़ गए उससे और बोले इतना साफ कर दिया उस बीच को कि सारा नेचर वापस आ गया मतलब उस पर वो क्या बोलते हैं टर्टल्स वगैरह आने लगे जो सदियों से नहीं आ रहे थे कंप्लीटली ट्रांसफॉर्म इट यू नो बिकॉज ही हैड सच अ प्योर इंटेंशन he was not doing it for havai or anything he was doing it because he really wanted to do something clean the place you know and ha kaise dusre log jud gaye usse so the mahan atma has has a lot of power it's like ocean and the wave a, one single wave cannot do anything but it's can connected with the ocean can do it can create tsunami <laughs> you know that's in a negative example but maybe you take take some positive force can be much bigger that's the whole idea par ki baat karte hain i like what kamla ji was saying expectations so expectations and detachment that is also one more quality that everybody needs to develop others you are just going to get hurt all the time yep and what that's called vairagya yoga na the word vairagya and then krishna bhagwan told you the remedy ki sansar mein jitni bhi cheeze hain wo you know end mein unse dukhi milta hai to use usme involve hone ki zarurat kya hai agar kisi ne tumhari panch cheeze kar bhi di chhati baar wo shayad nahi karega right agar expectation bhi hai chalo kar diya pura kuch 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 is not going to do it always no matter who they are <laughs> maybe your family member your friends the world your boss whoever you can think it it's impossible that they're going to constantly fulfill your expectations even logically even if you don't go in the spiritual realm even logically it's not going to happen wo oh, sare conflict duniya mein dekho to isi karan hai na bas main hi main hi sahi hu because people have not merge their you know individual intellect to the to the mahanatma that's why the whole all the problems start yeah pura mahabharat is par ye na woh maya blind uh, you know yeah and duryodhan ne duryodhan ne to saaf keh diya krishna bhagwan ko ki mere ko malum hai ki kya karna chahiye par main karna nahi chahta bole ki difference arjun aur usme yahi tha ye nahi arjun was a you know murti of perfection उसमें भी कमियां थी मगर वो एडमिट करके बोलता है मैं मैं करना चाहता हूं अपने आप को बदलना चाहता हूं मुझे बताओ कैसे मैं बदलू और उसने दुर्योधन बोलता है मेरे को मालूम है पर मेरे को बदलना ही नहीं है मैं तो ऐसे ही करूंगा
Pramodi, can you say that Duryodhan's mind was not connected with the intellect at all? He was not not following. He had not merged it. अगर तुम दोनों को सेपरेट अगर मुझे पता है समझो एक बड़ा सिंपल सा एग्जांपल लीजिए मैं डॉक्टर के पास गई और अच्छा उन्होंने कहा कि मुझे शुगर की प्रॉब्लम है तो मुझे मिठाई नहीं खानी चाहिए इतना तो मालूम है ना कि मिठाई से प्रॉब्लम होएगा पर अगर मैंने वो इंटेलेक्ट को मर्ज नहीं किया तो फिर मैं बैठ के खाऊंगी ना आई एम जस्ट इन माई लोअर माइंड दैट्स वॉट दुर्योधन शास्त्र तो उसने भी पढ़े थे सभी सेम ही गुरुकुल में गए थे ना तो या मर्ज नहीं हो रहा था सो दैट्स वाई जैसे कि इंटेलेक्ट को ज्यादा ऊपर रखो और इंटेलेक्ट को भी प्योरीफाई करते जाओ अगेन वी हैव डिस्कस दैट राइट अगर प्योर इंटेलेक्ट नहीं होएगा तो फिर गड़बड़ होएगा फिर तुम गलत धारणाओं को लेके बैठोगे यू नो ऑल काइंड ऑफ अंधविश्वास और इसमें सब चले जाने जाते हो सो कीप प्योरीफाइंग कीप होल्डिंग ऑन टू इट प्रेयर इज ऑल्सो अनदर ग्रेट थिंग जपा ऑल दो प्योरीफाई you know like uh, sometimes i go um, to this thursday group that they have sneha you wanted to come if you wa- want to come any time just call me for the thursday thing so they do a, it's a satsang so somebody asked ki bhai ye hare krishna mantra bolne se kya hota hai because wo log to bahut bolte hain ye to wo bata rahe the ki wo log jo log monks hote hain na wahan pe wo to unka to fixed hota hai ki unko itna karna hi karna hai so he, he said a very nice answer He's saying that when I say this, firstly, the mantra may be vibration powers, whatever are there, right? To purify, purify, करने के लिए. He's saying it creates a distance between my mind and me, and my wisdom and all. Then I can see what I'm doing wrong. Such a beautiful answer he gave. It's not like in vain that we are saying these things. You know? No, they. No. Bhakti. That is very true. Bhakti is, but distinguish. करना भी तो आना चाहिए ना कि what is right and what is wrong. Right. तो इस सिंग इट क्रिएट्स एंड यू नो शास्त्र भी पढ़ते हैं वो लोग और फिर ये कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ सेइंग मंत्रा एंड ऑल दैट इट क्रिएट्स दैट डिस्टेंस एंड देन यू स्टे मोर इन द विजडम यू हैव लर्न न्यू थिंग्स एंड देन यू रियलाइज कि ये जो संसार में चीजें हैं दे आर ऑल ऑल एफिमरल दे आर गोन गो अवे एग्जैक्टली वॉट कृष्ण भगवान इज सेइंग व्हाई शुड आई इंडल्ज विल दैट व्हाई डोंट आई डेवलप यू नो डिवाइनर क्वालिटीज टू मेक माई सेल्फ हैप्पी और ये लोग साथ भी खाना भी खाते हैं मैंने अभी दे बचपन में उन्होंने सब खाया था ये सब एंड देन वेन दे स्टार्टेड चैंटिंग द मंत्रा एंड रीडिंग भगवद गीता एंड ऑल दैट हाउ द शिफ्ट हैपन इन दैम दे कम्प्लीटली गेव दैट अप दे अंडरस्टूड यू नो तामसिक राजसिक सात्विक फूड एंड दे गेव इट अप कम्प्लीटली अभी वो दूसरों को सिखाते हैं बट उनकी जर्नी क्वाइट अमेजिंग है बिकॉज दे दे अपने लोग तो कैसे मोस्ट ऑफ आस यू नो ग्रू अप दैट वे इन अ मोर सात्विक एनवायरमेंट but these guys you know how their journey was even more amazing if you think about it they did so much so if they can do it why can't we apne to culture mein ye sab hai see they are the true seekers apan ko to virasat mein ye sab you know we are not we don't need to do anything about it so these people are actually trying more to attain and you know do the correct thing but what amazes me because this mandir you know 95% are non indians who come over there and they are from everywhere and half of them like on thursday me to aadhe se zyada young log aate hain they are so much interested to learn it my god unke eagerness learning ka dekh ke main main to hairan reh jati hu ki inme matlab jo bolte hai na ki pichle janmon ka sanskar you can just see it that otherwise why would like 18 year old 20 year old suddenly wants to find out you know who am i what i want to do you know very inspiring actually i want to give one reason is that maybe their uh, youth has not been is a troubled youth so they are seeking more answers and more peace at a earlier age we indians we tend to you know uh, 
there's more peace at home i think in the indian community you know you will be surprised as near when when and i found out about those few monks they were all mixed situations some of them were totally in a very nice loving family luxurious but somehow they did not feel satisfied with the the american ways they were they were so finding answers in the 14 15 you know they they went to their church and they asked few questions and they did not get the answer then somehow somebody gave them a book because they do big book distribution na no? so some of them read few things or they talk to somebody and say hey i think i want to pursue this so so not necessarily all of them have come up, come from trouble now in the beginning maybe when prabhu pad ji came that's what happened but if you see how they become monks now they are all from different backgrounds some of them you know had families and everything and and now their families have joined they are totally supportive in the beginning some of them had a lot of issues you know meko shila ji ne bataya ki one of the monks young one told le ki uski to pitai bhi hoti thi ghar mein when he used to go study bhagavad gita to that they were very angry you know but he didn't give up and a lot of the families eventually changed because they realized that they are doing it because that is their calling and they are becoming better people they are helping other people to become better people imagine That's what they're doing. God ke path mein hai, mein jana hai. So nothing is going to stop you. That's you know, what it is. Oh yeah, you know, uh, abuse at home. Oh yeah, kuch, kuch bhi ho. Kuch bhi ho. Kuch bhi ho. Exactly. Yeah, if you're or if you're married, even if you're married, you know the other part is not in that path. You still, that is your thing that you need to. Yeah, and the you know, lot of times, uh, uh, you know, in the beginning we might say, "Oh, how can I do?" But the other partner will let you do it. So even that that becomes easier. Keep praying, <laughs> you know. If both of them are in it, fantastic. But if suppose it's not, that's okay too. We are watching a video on YouTube. Um, this uh, this parents had their only. child a son came to states to do uh, uh, his graduate degree he earned graduate uh, did the masters in engineering got a very good job uh, got a promotion and doing extremely well parents are very happy but um, he started going to the hari krishna temple uh, on sundays and suddenly he got so involved in it that he quit his job and he totally went to live with them and the parents were crying and cursing hari krishna that they took our son away look what they have done mm-hmm. they have uh, brainwashed him and all that and then the son came and explained to them what he did and asked them to he actually bought a condo for them mm-hmm. where he was living mm-hmm. and he said come to the temple and see what we do mm-hmm. and the parents started going there and Six months later, the parents said, "Not only has he changed his own life, he has changed our life." Yes, exactly. Because this path is such. If someone doesn't understand it, then it means that he is ignorant. Right? right? Because if someone is going on this true path, then think about how advanced he is. Right? We are trying to go there, and he has already reached there. You know? And who are we to decide? what is his happiness exactly and you know he is doing lok seva by by all those monks that's what they do right. you know they are constantly trying to do seva of other people and trying to take them you know last time that unka jo head monk hai because young people aate hain he said how many of you don't have bhagavad gita so some people raise their hand he saying please take it and if you can't afford it please take it free and they, he, he was talking about japamala he said the same thing it costs 7 dollars but there is no compulsion if somebody doesn't have the money please take the mala <laughs> without them itna bhi karne ko taiyar hai wo log you know so uh, they, their intention is just to help everybody but somebody can afford not afford that's not their concern at all anybody has any other thing to share Shall we close? Okay, everybody. Hari Om.
We will see you next week. Adiós. Adiós, mi everyone. Adiós. Adiós. Bye.